What is up everybody, Arturo Johnson here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the only three ways that you can generate leads online if you are a life insurance agent. And so if we haven't met, my name is Arturo Johnson, and we have a company that has helped over 1,200 life insurance agents scale their business from 10K a month to 10K a week to $100,000 per month and beyond over the past over the past five to seven years. And one of the things that um, I'm happy to talk about is we've helped life insurance agents to issue over a hundred million dollars of issue pay business with our client acquisition systems. And so um, I've been named the king of leads. And so with these videos, um, we're just giving away all the information for free so that you never have to buy leads from a lead vendor uh, again, because that's ultimately the reason why most agents um, fail in this business is because they're giving away a ton of margins and the people that they're calling on don't want what they have. They don't know who they are. They don't trust them. Um, and they're buying leads that have been resold and so the whole purpose of my mission is to empower life insurance agents to never have to do this again because I was a struggling agent myself. I figured out this solution, ultimately shared it with some people on my team, and then ultimately end up transitioning into consulting, which I never wanted to do. But what I was frustrated with was the current state of leads in, the, in this industry that I thought could be better. And I felt like there was a system that was designed for us not to win and ultimately for us to fail, which is why 92% of agents fail out of this business. Um, and so I took on the mission of helping life insurance agents. They never have to experience what I experienced. So without further ado, I kind of want to share with you all some frameworks on the three ways to uh, get leads in this business. And so this is a masterclass on the three proven ways to generate leads. And so I'm just going to kind of rock through this really quickly. So today's training is for anybody that's been struggling to generate leads and they just feel like they're kind of stuck in a rut in their business. Um, this is the right place for you because by the end of this training, you're going to understand the three different ways that you can generate leads that will keep your business alive and thriving. And that's what we got into this business, right? Life insurance agents don't get burnt out from helping prospects. What they get tired of is getting cussed out, uh, wasting their money and wasting their time. And so if you are stuck in that hamster wheel, make sure you save this video and refer back to it so that you can apply some of these strategies. So in this uh, training, we're gonna be covering the pros and cons of pay per lead uh, from lead vendors, how advertising campaigns can give you full control of your lead flow and then why content marketing um, is the blue ocean um, and is the ultimate long-term strategy for your growth and you, you see this all the time right like Patrick Beck David um, Sean Mike um, the the there's one other uh, person that doesn't come to mind but there's the for life insurance agents what they all have is they have a system they have a lead gen process uh, for their agency and then they have a personal brand so here's how to know if you're in the right place, because this training is designed for life insurance agents who are struggling to consistently generate high quality leads. You want to reduce your cost to acquire a new customer. You're looking to build a, a, a strong personal uh, or business brand and you need a sustainable and repeatable and more importantly, a duplicatable system so that you can maintain steady lead flow. So here is some things that I want you guys to understand. Now, I made this very like uh, a Google Doc because I want to really break this down and I really want you guys to focus on this because I have at least a uh, 100 conversations a week with life insurance agents and they're all stuck in the same position. So you need to understand this one thing, which is generating leads is can often feel like an uphill battle, especially if you're not sure which strategy to use. And here's some of the struggles that most life insurance agents um, deal with. is inconsistent lead flow. They're depending on unreliable lead sources, right? You, you, you get referred to this vendor and, and the leads start up here and they're working well, and then they stop. And then what seems like ha it happens is the costs of the leads continue to go up, but the quality continues to go down. So you end up um, getting hooked in and then the quality of the leads go down and it's like gas prices. The cost of the leads just continues to go up and up and up. Another thing is you just kind of lose lack of control of the business, right? If leads are the lifeblood of the business, 
The person who controls the leads controls everything. And if you don't have the ability to personalize your lead gen process, then you're kind of out there driving blind. Um, and then you just like time, right? There's only two resources that you need to kind of scale your business as a life insurance agent. You need time or money. And a lot of times, most insurance agents are wasting both because they just don't realize that they're using outdated tactics that just don't work anymore. Or this vendor is reselling things so they just got it to work once. Or more importantly, like agents with a side hustle, which is what we're seeing now, which is they're trying to uh, generate leads for two reasons. One is so that they can make money off the leads, but also so if they generate the leads for you and you quit, they can resell them to another agent on the team. So here are some of the big problems with leads. The first one is you don't have enough lead. Many businesses struggle with generating enough leads to just maintain growth. And the reason why this is here is because you're overpaying for the leads, right? So if you solely rely on just one strategy, one lead vendor, you're putting your business at risk. Again, I said that the person that controls the leads controls everything. And if leads are the lifeblood of the business, then you need to have control over your business. So here's why um, this is a problem. It's because you're overpaying for leads. You're paying three to 500% more for the exact same leads that you could generate yourself. So you're paying a premium to third party lead vendors without any control of the quality, right? And then the other thing is, is it's a wasted resource because you're spending time and money and it's just not working. So you're, they, the only thing your upline keeps telling you is you need to just buy more leads. You don't have enough leads. You don't have enough leads, right? Um, and then the other piece is, is you have, a, uh, you don't have a brand. You're missing out on opportunities to build trust and credibility. The Rock, um, Conor McGregor, Rihanna, um, and then the Kardashian young girl, right? Like George Clooney, they all had a personal brand. And then when they off, when they introduced their product, right, they made billions. And so it's not just in the insurance business, but it's also in, in other arenas, right? And we can see this so often. And According to HubSpot, they did a, a study that says that businesses that diversify their lead ge generation strategies see a two to three times increase in their lead flow and conversion rates. So what the thing that that made me think about was the thing that David Rockefeller said. He said that success in business requires training and discipline and hard work. So what happens is, is most agents have the first thing down. <clears throat> well, the, the third thing down, excuse me, which is they got the hard work. Well, they lack the discipline to focus on one thing because they're trying all of these lead sources, right? And they never get good at the things they need to get really good at, which is um, their sales process, right? And so what happens is, is they end up on this vicious cycle, which is they have uh, uninformed optimism. So they get into the business thinking they're going to make a bunch of money because we're all recruited in this business. And then they hit some difficulty, which is, is not as easy as people thought it was, which is buying leads from lead vendors and you're going to make $20,000 a month. So now they have informed pessimism. And then they go down a little bit further, which is now they have this crisis meaning, which is, man, can I see myself doing this for the rest of my life? Um, is this really what I want to be doing? <clears throat> and so then they talk themselves um, out of uh, this opportunity or this lead vendor. And they're like, well, maybe it's the leads. And so they end up hopping to another lead vendor and they keep repeating this vicious cycle over and over again. Well, what happens is they don't have the discipline to stick it, stick it out to come back up to which is um, the solution, which is it's just enduring some time until you figure it out. Because what happens is, is ultimately you never actually get good at, um, at sales because you're just continuing to step up, step down, lead vendor. Over here, put your card in and then be disappointed. Well, then just try another lead vendor. And so what this does is this stunts your growth. And so I hope you're understanding what, what, I'm, what I'm saying here. And I've seen this so many times. Again, we've helped over 1,200 life insurance agents to produce over $100 million of issue pay business in the, in the past five to seven years. And so what I want to share with you is the three proven ways to generate leads. So... You can pay per lead for lead vendors. And this is kind of a quick fix, but it costs the most. And you're just buying leads from vendors who charge you three to five times what it costs, right? You're paying high premium costs. If a lead costs $10 for you to generate it, you're going to pay 30 bucks for it. 
The cons of it is that you got zero control over the quality of the lead source or the messaging. And the best use of this is you just use this method to get a quick influx of leads so that you can kind of figure it out. And it solves the immediate problem of you having people to talk to. But the problem is, is you don't know what they saw. They aren't warmed up and they don't know who you are. And what happens when you have conversation with these people, they want to know how you got their information, who you are, and they don't trust you. And so Harvard Business uh, Review found this uh, study that if you rely on third party lead vendors, it can result to 25 uh, increase in customer acquisition cost, making it less sustainable for your business. So what's happening is, is you have 100 percent capital and that capital should get you um, 100 leads, but instead it only gets you uh, 30 leads or 33 leads. So your capital isn't going as far as it normally would if you would generate those, which means that constricts your cash flow, which means you only end up making just enough money from the small opportunities because you pay triple the price for the exact same thing to have enough money to reinvest into buying enough leads just to get you. And so get you to the next week. And what happens is, is now instead of going check to check, you're living week to week as a life insurance agent. And so this quote by Benjamin Franklin says the, the bitterness of poor quality remains longer after the sweetness of low price is forgotten. So this is important because most life insurance agents are loyal to leads to a fault just because they're like, OK, it was a bad batch. And so they stay with this um, delusion of just buying another batch that's going to solve the problem. But here's the truth. There's not one batch of leads that is going to make or break you. It's consistently, repetitively investing and throwing money out the window from buying bad leads, hoping that it's going to work. But, in, but instead, what you should do is you should have the discipline and the training to learn how to generate your own leads or partner with somebody to help you to generate high quality leads so that you can um, make a three to five X return on your money month in and month out. So the next way is, is, is advertising campaigns. This is the method that puts you kind of in the driver's seat. You can create and manage your own ads by taking control, right, of how to inquire, to acquire the leads. So the pros of this is the cost efficiency. You actually pay the actual cost that it costs to generate the leads instead of the markup. It gives you full control of the targeting, the messaging, and the performance. The other thing is, is it allows you to, to pivot to if the cost goes up a little bit higher than the KPI, you can turn it off, you can duplicate it, you can redo the messaging, and you can make quick adjustments to target different people or just test uh, different creatives. For example, I spend over $30,000 a month on ads on my personal brand because it works. We ran a campaign that initially uh, misspelled the word recruit and to grab people's attention, and it worked incredibly well, right? So I misspell stuff all the time. Um, and I get a lot of engagements, which then pushes it, it further. And most people get in there that are keyboard warriors and they're worried about that, but they don't realize that they're falling right into the trap of engagement, it's eyeballs and attention, right? So the best use of this is for if you're looking to scale quickly, you need to be willing to invest more on the front end to build um, a strong brand and a presence. Because when you run ads, it's you. So people become more familiar with you. They see you more places. They look you up. Right. So then when you text them or call them or reach out to them, they've seen you a, a lot of times. And then what happens is, is that brand, they start to associate you with the life insurance guy, with the final expense specialist, with the annuity specialist, with the IUL specialist. And Kinsey did a study that found that businesses uh, running targeted ad campaigns experienced two times the increase of conversions and 50 percent lower cost of client acquisition. And so Henry Ford says, stop advertising to save money. Uh, stopping advertising to save money is like stopping your watch to save time, right? Which makes no sense. So with that being said, the next thing you want to do um, is you want to look at content marketing, all right? And this is the most sustainable for long-term strategies to generate leads. Because after people see your ads, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to try to find you on social. And they're going to look you up. And what they should see is content that shows you as an expert, giving away information, placing yourself as the authority in the space, um, talking about where you are. But more importantly, that content is going to separate you 
from any other insurance agent because most agents aren't doing this, right? It's going to build trust and it's going to help your personal brand with your authority over time so you don't have to convince people, right? So I'm the king of leaves. When people come to me, right, they know that um, my, I have the results because we got over 133 testimonials on my YouTube channel. Um, we have over 1,200 uh, success stories of life insurance agents using this. We have the track record of working with the biggest and best people like Roy Schnarr of Annuity.com, Tier Brown, the number one producer for FFL, um, who are my clients? John Wetmore, Dave Witchard, right? Like all of these integrity partners um, partner with us to do a bunch of things. And so what that does is that establish credibility that when we're on the call, it's really not about who I am and building trust. It's just about making it work because my programs are not the cheapest. And so once you have this established, this keeps you bringing in um, quality leads every single day without additional spend. Because when you're authority in the space and you share personal content, other people will share it if it's valuable. They'll share your ads. They'll share the results that you're able to get your clients. And so what this ends up doing is this lowers your overall cost per lead, right? Because it's all about the time and effort you put into creating and sharing content, right? So I learned this from Myron Golden, and he said that he learned this from Daniel Priestley from reading his book, uh, A Key Person of Influence, which is that he said that income follows assets. And I was like, huh, assets, what kind of assets? I was like, oh, well, what about real estate, right? Like if you... Uh, invest in real estate, right? Like you, that asset is a, is a, is a hard asset that can produce cash flow. I'm like, okay, well, what about what I'm doing? It's like, oh, content. It's an attention asset that if you create valuable, uh, content, it's an asset that income can follow. And once I figured that out, that's when I went all in on content, right? Cause everything that we do now, um, how we buy iPhones, how we buy cars, it's all from content. It, uh, these big companies pay influencers to review their products, right? And then those people post on their socials where all their followers are. And that's how we end up thinking it's a good idea to get something, right? The desire isn't ours. We see somebody else as an influencer that we follow. It looks good on them, whether it's uh, Lululemon or it's the Apple Watch where they have the desire that the desire outcome that we want. And if we get the watch, we feel like we can get the result that they got. Hopefully this is making sense. Right. And so this position you positions you as an expert in your field, which is it allows you to attract leads organically. So as a byproduct of getting leads from your business and getting attention, having credibility, people will then um, hear more about you. They'll go search you out on other platforms, which then ultimately puts them back in the bucket to be retargeted. But then establish credibility um, online that that you are the expert in your field. So, for example, I've been creating content for seven years and we got over, we get over a hundred, uh, inbound leads per day without spending a penny on ads on Instagram. And that's the power of content marketing, right? So the best use case of this is this is a long-term strategy. Um, a lot of times you just post one video, you're not going to see any results, right? But it's the consistent output of content over time that warms people up. It nurtures them and shows them that you're all in because you're willing to go in your bag and share your expertise and authority for free, which then when people are ready, you're the person that's top of mind that they want to reach out to. And so um, according to uh, Content Marketing Institute, businesses that prioritize content marketing are 13 times, 13 times more likely to, to achieve a positive, positive ROI, ROI. And this is probably my favorite quote from Bill Gates, which is content is king, right? Because content creates conversations that turn into calls that then turn into conversions, which turn into clients, right? And so creating content is an information asset. So hopefully you're getting this. And so just to recap, um, key takeaways of this, right? The three ways that you can generate leads is you can pay for them, right? It's quick, but it's costly and you have no control and you want to use this to kind of get started, but you want to use it spar sparingly. Then advertise campaigns is probably the most effective way to scale quickly um, and also help you to get your name out there to build a brand and separate you from other agents that are, think about it. If you're on social and you see somebody doing something or they're kind of sharing some information where you can kind of discover it because it's placed in your feed or somebody rolls up to you while you're with your family at Target or at the mall 
asking you about life insurance. Which one of these people are going to be seen more as an authority, right? Because the positioning is just different. And this is going to require a, um, an investment uh, and some effort. But again, when you create content, the content that bangs, you can then turn those into ads, right? And then so then content, content marketing. This is the ultimate long-term strategy that's probably the most uh, effective long tail, which you, you'll just see the results of the inbound growth. Ultimately, it'll lower the cost of your, your leads because this is something that you do as a long-term strategy. It's more sustainable. It's, it's cost-effective growth, and it takes time but yields the highest returns. So if you're a life insurance agent and you want to scale your businesses and ensure that you have long term success, you need to diversify your lead generation strategy. Right. So not telling you not to use lead vendors, but you need to don't need to put all your eggs in one basket. If you are losing them and it's working, then you need to try to figure out some way where you can learn how to do some of that yourself. Right. Um, and then also you need to be creating content to differentiate yourself, to share your knowledge so that you can be seen as a trusted advisor um, in this space. So. Again, the last thing I want to say is, is choose strategies wisely, align yourself with, with the actual goals that you have and start implementing those things. And again, just like when you're choosing who to work with, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at their brand online. Who have they helped? Are those people getting the results that I'm looking to get? And what's their track record? Does it feel like this person is somebody that I align with, with their, their, their values? Um, and then, um, is this somebody that I actually see myself partnering with? So, the last piece is, is man, don't just allow this information to just be consumed and you get a, a dopamine hit from it. What I want you to do is I want you to execute on this. Take this information, let it empower you, take some action, find a resource so that you can implement one or all three of these strategies into your business um, and don't wait. So if you're ready to blow up your lead gen, obviously you can reach out to us. We can definitely help with that. But again, thank you for uh, watching this video. I'll see you at the top.